Mountain National Park in Cape Town, South Africa, there's the most remarkable flower you'll ever see. And I was taking this photograph a few years ago, and as I did, a woman walked behind me, and she said, I don't get what the big deal is. I really don't care about nature. As if caring about nature were an option, like caring about Pokemon cards, or miniature golf, or video games. The irony of her statement is that the very water in her water bottle was made possible by these plants on the top of Table, uh, Table Mountain National Park. These plants are uniquely suited to capture rainfall, store it like a sponge, and release it over the year precisely when it's needed most. But she's not alone in her sentiments. In fact, we as society don't really care about nature, at least not in the way that we should. We care about feeding people. We care about water security. We care about making sure people are safe from natural disasters. And we care about jobs and sustainable livelihoods. In other words, we care about development. But the development trajectory, by and large, has been unsustainable. It's riddled with market failures and policy failures that lead to unprecedented losses of biodiversity. We clear a wetland to make way for a shopping mall. We drain, uh, we uh, clear a mangrove to put in an eco-resort. We clear forests because we need products. But if we clear a forest that provides us with drinking water, it's not development. If we drain a wetland that provides us with safety from flooding, it's not development. But there is a better way. And UNDP is learning how to reconcile development with protection. For example, Food security is one of the most important sustainable development goals. In Cambodia, a project is working with Ibis Rice, which reconciles the development of food on protected areas with rice, along with maintenance of Ibis habitat, their national bird. In Fiji, locally managed marine area provides food and livelihoods for thousands of families. Water security. In Rwanda, a payment for ecosystem services project helps pay for protection. And in Peru, a new system of environmental ecological accounting helps ensure that governments recognize the value of forests to water. Disaster risk reduction. We know that this is increasing. In Senegal, a women's group helps restore mangroves that will provide fisheries habitat within the park. And in Morocco, a group restores native plants to help protect soil erosion and jobs and livelihoods. A community in the Biosphere Reserve of Guatemala gathers non-timber forest products, raising thousands of dollars and providing sustainable livelihoods. And in Australia, the National Landscapes Project helps tap the revenue of $37 million for park-related uh, income and provide local jobs. There are hundreds of these stories, and many of them are captured at mbsatforum.net. But in order for protected areas to deliver on sustainable development goals, we need to do three things. We need to understand the value of protected areas in delivering on goals. They are one of the most efficient, affordable, and durable means of sustainable development. We must invest in protected areas in order to achieve the goals that we want. And we must integrate protected areas into our sustainable development goals. Otherwise, they won't be relevant to society. In other words, we must care about nature. Protected areas deliver somewhere in the order of 50 to 1 to 100 to 1 on return on investment. The total global gap in protected area finance is $33 billion a year, which sounds like a lot of money, until you realize this is 0.0005% of global GDP. It's what economists call a rounding error, so trivial as to be beneath notice. On the top of Table Mountain National Park in Cape Town, South Africa, is one of the most remarkable plants you'll ever see. It provides the drinking water for 100% of the residents in Cape Town. It provides 
15 million dollars a year in revenue from this park alone. It provides habitat for wild species, it generates local jobs, and it provides sustainable livelihoods for thousands of people.